Hello to my beautiful subscribers. Let's see what messages Spirit has for you guys. Okay, I just did a last reading. Hopefully you get to those who are in need of it and who it resonates with. Okay, so let's see. Spirit Guys Universe, Ancestors of the Highest Light Light. Please give me clear and precise messages. So let's see, what's the energy surrounding the collective? New energy, new energy spirit, new energy. Eight of Wands. So you guys are going to get a lot of uh, forward movement. Okay, things could be taking off quickly or things are going to start taking off quickly. You guys are walking away from things that you can't control. That's beautiful energy. So you guys are no longer like being in control of stuff like and that's what you need to be in that's the energy you need to be in just go with the flow do not try to control things okay could you block your own happiness or fulfillment give me more so just go with the flow we got the hangman mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, y'all is learning how to release that's what i'm getting with the hangman because not necessarily the hangman could come out as being stagnant energy or blockages. It could also just mean that you're releasing in order for you to continue to move forward. And Spirit say that's the truth. Mm -hmm. You're not staying stuck in your head or you're not making like, okay. What we need to understand is we are the reason why we're either stagnant or why we're either stuck. Okay. You have the right to free yourself from any situation and release and surrender from any situation it's you that'll keep yourself stuck or that's you that'll keep yourself in your head okay because everyone has the free will to choose and do what they're what they want to do i might as well say but you're not supposed to do any and everything okay like you would know if it's something that you're supposed to be doing and it's something that you're not okay it's just that simple all right, because I want people to just learn how to stop two, 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 making excuses on why they can't do this and why they can't do that. And you really can't. Yeah, the six of pentacles. You have to know that you are deserving of receiving whatever spirit has for you. Okay, because blessings comes in all shapes, sizes and forms. It don't necessarily have to be the way that you thought the blessing was going to be. Okay, it can come however however spirit fits, however it best fits you or however spirits feel like you need. It's like what you need. Like, come on, y'all. We got the will of fortune in reverse. Some of you guys, you might feel like you're going backwards. See, you got to change your, your belief systems. The ace of swords. Because, you know, we got so caught up into believing like, oh, it's a toxic cycle. Oh, it's a karmic cycle. Eh, 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 when it comes to these people, right? 313, people that you cut off. But it's like, sometimes you're supposed to take what, you're, what you have learned from it and keep and move forward, like, and just keep moving. Because only you can prevent yourself from happiness. I just put that on my community book. Only you can stop yourself from going towards what you feel feels good to you. 333. Okay, so it goes back to the excuses and shit like that. We're no longer making excuses for our happiness, just period. All right, we having a tower moment now, so I hope everybody, let's all say it together. We're no longer making excuses for our happiness, okay? We want it, we go get it, we go after it, period. Just period. I don't know what else to say. And stop being afraid and stop being intimidated. Stop letting other people bully you out of your happiness. Or stop letting other people frighten you out of your happiness. Like, how, how do they know what somebody make you feel when you're around them? Like, what? That's because they're projecting onto you how they feel when they're around you or how you know that they make you feel when you're around them. Like, everybody gives off different feelings. Like, not everybody is going to make someone feel the same. Like, everybody gives off different feelings. Like, today, one person can make me feel this way, and then tomorrow, another person can make me feel another way. You get what I'm saying? I don't know why this hurt, but if it comes back, then you will know. It's something about this coming back energy. We got the temperance. Oh, so you guys are learning how to transmute, okay, energy that is being given to you, okay? That's the point of, like, being receptive. 
Because it's like what you dish out is what you get back. What goes around comes around, right? So say, for instance, if you was giving out negative energy towards a karmic situation. All right, we're going to do it like this. We're just going to take a real, we're going to take a real, real, recognized, real moment. All right, all right, all right, all right. I got to hurry up because I want my alarm to go off and then it's going to be a short video. So I'm just making it real quick and brief before I go. So you see how most people, they, 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 okay, they dealt with third party situations, right? But it's all about the energy that you gave out pertaining that situation because everybody is being tested. So say for instance, I could have been negative the whole time I'm dealing with the, like the whole time with the twin flame situation, like how the energy I was giving to y'all, I could have been very toxic, very negative, and, and I would have disregarded everybody's feelings. But no, because I was receptive and open to everyone's feelings and opinions and and what they wanted is what made the blessing come in quicker. Do y'all get what I'm saying? Like some people, they just don't need to be talking about nothing they don't understand. Because sometimes people will say about karmic this, karmic that, and they don't understand it. Like, the more you tap in and the more that you understand. Because you got to experience these things to talk about it. You can't just sit there all day long at a fucking desk behind a computer or behind a tablet or behind a phone and just be pulling out cards, shuffling cards to read people, like, experiences or to even... I hope this makes sense, y'all, because I'm tired of people keep trying to, like, give their insight and their input on something they're not even experiencing, bro. It's an experience. That's the purpose of a spiritual journey. How you're going to be able to give people advice, sound advice at that to where though they can relate or resonate or where it just comes to them like an aha moment. If you're not fucking experiencing it, you get what I'm saying? So I'm going to need these fake ass, whatever they want to be called. Okay. Cause I don't even care about them at this point. Okay. Cause I know where I stand and I know where, what position God gave me. Okay, to be able to explain to y'all in the best way y'all can understand when it comes to karmic situations. Because sometimes I'll be like, oh, somebody, like you hear a reader say, oh, something is coming back around. The first thing you think about, oh, it's toxic. That's what I'm saying. Y'all just need to grow up. Or y'all need to change y'all mindset. Or y'all just need to like think more outside of the box. 717. Okay. Because y'all not going to ever be happy. Y'all keep on sitting up here letting people dictate and tell you what happiness is to you. First thing y'all hear, oh, somebody coming back from your past, or somebody wants to do this, somebody wants to do that. And the first thing y'all start to comment is, oh, I don't want that person back. That person can this, this, that, and the third. That person's still dealing with that bitch. Da, 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 da. And it's like, bro, y'all knock y'all blessings doing that shit. Y'all know what spirit got set up for the way stuff is going, how it's going. Like, y'all will never know until you experience it. Like, y'all really don't know the backstory. Y'all just only going off of what these readers are saying to y'all. And I say it's an experience. You won't know until you experience it or until you go through it, bruh. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I have grown a lot. And, and because my guys, they stay on my ass. Like, when I feel like I'm doing something wrong or I feel like I shouldn't be doing that, my guys be like, look, we we we, we going to let you. We, we just going to throw you out there. Like. That's what they be doing to me. 18, they throw me out there. They let me learn on my own. That's what you're supposed to be doing. It's a learning experience. Sitting behind the phone all fucking day. Or telling people shit that you want them to believe is not going to help these people go through their own experiences. Just period. Like, if somebody or something is making you happy, experience it. I don't care what the fuck it is, bruh. You just got to be the bigger person to just know what part you play in the situation. To where as though it's like, how can I say this? To where as though either you want to be the toxic one or you don't be. Like, you get what I'm saying? Everybody got a role to play. It's either you going to be the toxic one or you're going to be the one that actually brings peace to the situation. Where you transmute that energy of what somebody is going through already. Like, y'all be understanding half of the shit y'all be doing. Y'all make motherfuckers don't want to fuck with y'all. Or be around y'all or at least come back around because y'all so focused on toxicity. Like, you're the toxic one, motherfucker. Ain't nobody toxic but you. That's what the fuck that is. Because you're so worried about if something is toxic. Well, if somebody is toxic, bruh. That's not the point. It's what you... It, it's, in that moment of that toxicity, what did you learn from it? Ask yourself that. Because sometimes when we go through shit, we got to ask ourselves. Like, because some people be stuck on the wrong things. Y'all stuck on the wrong shit. And then it's like everybody else moving past and moving forward with their with their blessings and everybody getting their blessings. And you still stuck on 
the same lesson that you've been through six times because you still ain't get it. You get what I'm saying? Like some of us, we can go through six lessons. We can go through the same lesson over and over and over, but it's every experience we're learning something different. That's what you're supposed to take from experiences when you go through experiences in like 10-10. You're supposed to go through that experience to take something from it to learn. From it, I hope it makes sense because I sound like I'm just all over the place right now because I'm getting so many downloads. Like my spirit guys, I'm telling you, like I'm so close with them, my ancestors and the most high. I'm actually glad that I took time to isolate myself and remove myself from a lot of shit because it gave, it gave me more trust in myself. Like it gave me to trust more into who I am because if I didn't take the time to be to myself or be by myself, to get to know me personally, I wouldn't be able to trust myself, bro. I'm telling you. Half of the shit that I'm telling y'all, I wouldn't even sit up here and believe it. But because I'm going through it and I'm experiencing it, yeah, I got the floor to tell y'all, this is what your spirit guys want. They want you to go through these experiences to learn from it. Not every experience that you are in is bad. It's only the people that are trying to pretend as they are living that experience is what makes it toxic. You feel me? So please, 1111, be mindful of what you're listening to, right? I cannot stress this enough. Because some of us, we're listening to the wrong shit. Look, you're in alignment. Perfect alignment, bruh. That's what I'm saying. What you're experiencing and what you're going through, it was destined and meant to happen that way. Okay? So if you feel like you're going backwards, you're not. We're going to clarify that. That's why I said everything happens for a reason. What you feel like is making you go in reverse is actually setting you up to where you need to be. Look, I'm telling you, the st why would the star and the justice card come out if this wasn't facts? You're in perfect alignment. Get out of this moment energy. You cannot fix what you would like. You can see this is what y'all need to understand. What happened in the past happened in the past. You just got to move forward from here. Okay, that's where the, the brand new beginning start. Y'all so focused on the damn past. Y'all gonna stay in the past. That's why y'all so damn toxic. Like, damn, I'm gonna be the one to tell y'all. I don't care. And if, if any reader come over here, you get mad at me saying that, yeah, you a part of the problem. You the reason why so many people are still stuck in the past. 1222. Like, do y'all understand what the past is? Do y'all understand what the past means? I think y'all don't. Y'all don't understand what past, present, or future mean. Y'all just be saying shit. Oh, somebody from your past is coming back. Sometimes it means that something from your past that wasn't finished is coming back to finish itself off. And that could be whether for the good or the for the bad. Okay? But it's all about the energy that you're giving out to the situation. Like I said, if you was being the one dishing out toxicity in the... Uh, through, through this cycle or whatever it is that y'all supposed to be learning, you're going to get toxicity back, bruh. That's why they say is what you dish out is what you get back. Just period. Like, I know they say it's no positive without negative or it's no negative without positive 13, 13. But if you know who you are, you are the reason why things are balanced out. Some of you are earth angels. Like, you got to really know what an earth angel does. You already fight and war off bad energies. Because you're an angel, 1333. Until you know what you're doing and who you are, you will understand why toxicity doesn't scare you. Like, it's not supposed to. They want us to be afraid of toxic energies. Now, don't get me wrong. It's, it's demons out here now. Yeah, you do need to watch out for that now. I ain't going to sit up here and say it ain't no demons out here. But what people want you to believe or think about a person, oh, this person is demonic. No, it's the person that they're with is that way so it's, it's it's just bleeding onto that person but that don't mean that person is toxic that don't mean that that person gonna hurt you or harm you sometimes you pick up energies around these people 14 14 around this person i'm telling y'all y'all in alignment it don't make no sense look the two of ones this is your path i don't know what else to tell y'all so where spirit got y'all at right now with your man or woman this is where you're supposed to be I'm telling you, duality, bruh. You cannot take the bad without the good, and you cannot take the good without the bad. The moments that happened in the past was the bad days. 1444, y'all don't even know y'all getting ready for the good days. Like, y'all tripping. 
Look, and some of y'all, y'all don't want to believe it. It's okay. It's cool. Look, the emperor's in the four because y'all don't want to believe it. Because some of y'all feel like, oh, your love life is over. Oh, it's never going to come back around. This person ain't this, this, then, the third. Y'all got to get out of that energy, too. That's probably why it never came to... I'm telling y'all. Y'all don't even understand. Look, that's why it never came to y'all yet. Because y'all won't get out of this energy, Divine Feminist. Keep listening to every pe everybody else and other people instead of listening to your guys. Like, y'all not even listening to y'all own spirit guides. And then some of these people that are coming towards y'all with these readings on your on your page, on your timeline, they're not even your spirit guides, bruh. You do have false spirit guides. You know that, right? People will come and portray to be a spirit guide to you, a ascended master to you. You can be the ascended master. You can be your own spirit guy. You just got to listen. Listen, my guy. I need y'all to listen, Divine Feminine. Because y'all don't even know. Look, this was behind this. This how this went. And this fell out too. This is behind y'all once y'all get out of that energy. That's why y'all person ain't never came to y'all yet. That's why y'all person haven't reached out to y'all yet. Because are y'all really doing the work? And the work is really within yourself. What did you learn from a past life toxic uh, cycle? Not what everybody else learned. It's what you learned. Because your person is here. Look at this. Three of six of swords. This person already got the nudge and the push to come towards you and to say something. To give you the ace of cups. To give you the sun. But they can't do it if you're not believing in yourself, Divine Feminist. And they can't do it if you don't believe in this person. I'm telling y'all, it's y'all that's doing that. You heard it here first. It's you that's doing that. Because you're listening to everything else and everybody else, and you're not listening to your spirit guides. The f I'm telling y'all, the first thing y'all hear is this. Oh, we going, here we go again. We going back in another toxic cycle just because the will of fortune in reverse. No. Y'all got to start seeing things differently. From a different perspective. If you know that you're protected. Okay. Then what are you afraid of? Now that don't mean just go around. Just be fucking shit up. Just starting bombs every damn way. And blowing shit up. No. I'm telling you. Your guides will lead and guide you to where you need to be. At that time. At that moment. It's like being at the right place at the right time. And some of you. You're at the right place. But the timing is off, okay? Y'all, y'all, y'all not, y'all missing it. That's what I'm saying. Spirit is like, y'all missing it. Y'all missing the whole ordeal here. Like, you're missing it. I don't know. And then it's making you seem like, oh, this person betrayed me. Oh, this person doing this because he with that person or she with that person. And it's like, no, bro. You're betraying yourself. Nine of Pentacles. You're causing yourself to be in a tower because you're not changing your perspective. You're seeing things from a low vibrational standpoint. Once you connect to your higher self, it's only up from here. You can only see things from a different perspective. That's how you're supposed to grow and evolve and, and, and elevate. It's seeing things from a higher perspective. That's why so many people, it's hard for them to ascend or they don't want to ascend because they don't want to think outside the box. They don't want to change their mindset. They don't want to see things differently. They want to stay like... In a, uh, I don't know, in a mindset that's just not working no more. It's just, I don't know. Look, the four ones, everything is just talking for itself. The car is talking for itself. That's why I said y'all won't get this, this reconciliation or this union until you change your perspective, until you guys see things from a different standpoint. You can't keep sitting up here saying you want your person, you praying, and you asking your guys for your person. You saying you healed, you healed, you healed, when none of you are actually healing. Because if you were, you wouldn't be caught up on a toxic cycle that don't even make sense because you ain't learned from the shit yet. You get what I'm saying? Three of Pentacles. Teamwork makes the dream work. God cannot bless you. Spirit cannot bless you. Your ancestors cannot bless you until you work with them. Stop working against them and work with them. Because they want to bring in this celebratory moment for you guys. They want to bring in the sun for you. You know, this person don't stand by. That's what this person feel like to me. 
That's why they're juggling everything else. They're just doing what they're told to do. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna focus on myself and to this person understand why am I coming back into their life? This person know why. It's like, have you learned why? Some of y'all think, oh, cause this person about to juggle me again. Oh, cause this person about to be with this and be over there and be over here. Oh, here we go again. This person about to put me in another third party. And it's like, I don't see nothing over here with a third party. I only see an empress and a king of cups with a king of swords. I mean, I say a king of swords. With a queen of swords. And you're in this queen of swords because you're seeing things from a higher perspective. Okay? You're sitting up here. Try, like, how can I say this? Page of swords and the eight of swords and the six of wands. Some of y'all is like, I don't want to look like nobody's fool. Or I don't want to embarrass myself. Or how are you embarrassing yourself? Please tell me. You, look, that's your perspective. You, y'all thinking y'all embarrassing yourself. Because of how it look and how it seems, that's the thing. Everything ain't what it seems, bro. Everything ain't what it what it seems. Okay, that's why it's, it, it take you a few times to proofread some shit. Like you gotta go over some shit a few times before you even was to sit and say if any of this toxic shit still going on. Now, once again, you're going to pick that energy up around you because it is people that is watching you and keeping up with you. Okay? But you will know which energy is for you because the energy does shift. It doesn't stay the same because everybody is on different timelines. Look, injustice. I cannot make this up. Some of you guys are thinking that you're going to be humiliated. Oh, this person is only coming back to humiliate me. With the third party. Jokes on me. Ha, 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 ha. Not even noticing that. This person already got a close. Communicate. 22, 22. This is the second time I seen that today. This number. And I looked it up. This person already got. The message. <laughs> like y'all don't even know what's going on. Because y'all keep listening to other shit. Other things. Because you got people talking about some. oh, the third party want to talk to you, reach out to you. Oh, the third party want to do this and do that. Oh, the third party want to blah, 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 blah. This person, yeah, it's still in this person's energy, but they're, that's not their focus, bruh. You are their focus. Until you understand that, you're not going to get your person. I'm telling you, justice has already been waiting for you. Like, justice has already, the win of fortune already been in your favor and all that. The only reason why it's in reverse is because you're still thinking the way that you're thinking. With that eight of swords and the queen of swords. Because it's, it's the way you're seeing things, you're not seeing things clearly. Because you're so focused on what other people are saying. And what other people is doing. No. I'm telling you. It's just drama. You know, people love to keep drama going. People love drama. I'm telling you. This person can have a daughter. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like, y'all don't know what's going on. Drama. Five of Wands. Drama. This person is by themselves. Alone. This person might stay with their mom. Or they might stay. Let's see. Because I don't really feel like this person is in their energy like they used to. Like, it's still communication there, eight of wands. But I don't feel as though, like, this person is as gung-ho or caught up on this person. Like, they're not giving and doing as much as they used to. Okay, 24-24 with this person. Now, this is what I'm feeling, though. But drama, people love to stir up drama. They love to keep drama going. Two of Swords is to keep you under a veil. It's to keep you blindfolded to what's really going on. Seven of Pentacles. So you can feel like, oh, 
It's just a waste of time. I knew I was wasting my time. I knew I knew I knew. Like that's all people want to hear y'all say. Like people love to see people sad, miserable, and upset more than happy, fulfilled, and in love. I'm telling you, it's always like that. Like. When when somebody sees something or someone that's in love or really loves somebody, I'm telling you, people do not they can't stand that shit. So they will keep the drama going. They they like shenanigans, like people like nonsense. It's just the unnecessary as nonsense. And and you sit and they thinking you wasting your time. When spirit is like, no, you need to listen. Just listen for a second. Don't open your mouth to speak. Don't comment. Stop commenting your life story with you and your person under these people. Uh, pages and shit like that. Just stop. Because I'm telling you. They they tap into y'all energy and see that y'all happy or this person really genuinely love you or really care for you. And then they do anything to raise hell. And then you sitting up here wondering why you under so many psychic attacks and you you and your person ain't come together yet. I'm telling you. Ace of Wands, Five of Pentacles. And all you keep thinking about is when you're going to get this new passion in the beginning. Five of Pentacles. You keep feeling like, oh, your person leaving you on the code. Oh, this person is giving attention to other people. Oh, this person not thinking about me. Oh, this person focused on other people. Oh, this person this. Oh, this person that. Like, no. 26, 26, this person ain't doing none of that. And the most of they're doing something is because they have to prioritize their kids or their child. Point blank period. That's it and that's all. Okay? I'm telling you. This is the this is the transformation that Spirit is trying to give to you. King of Swords and the King of Wands. Nine of Wands. This person has already overcame their adversities, their challenges, their blockages, whatever delays, whatever setbacks, all that shit. This person already experienced the heartbreak, the pain, the crying. I'm telling you, they already experienced all this. So until you understand that and see that, you'll be able to get your person. Things to be able to move forward with you and this person. This person already has the, the perspective. Look. And they heal. Look at that pink. Every time I see the pink. This person. Y'all just got to like. It's, 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 it's final, bruh. Look at this. Whatever divorce, separation, breakup, it's final. Justice in the Ace of Swords is over. O V E R D O N E F A N E T O. Do I need to keep going so y'all can understand? Done. Finito. Finished. No moss. Okay? So get out your feelings, Divine Feminines, because your person is already here. You already have your person. Okay. So, yeah. Judgment and the death. You know it's final. When judgment and the death come out, you know this is like, what is it, the last day, last judgment call? It's over. This person can no longer block out what they're feeling either. Because it's causing them too much internal conflict. To know that they have love for you and that they are in love with you. And to keep sitting back and not saying nothing is just making them even more upset. Because I'm telling you, this person wants y'all just as bad as you do. Okay? Don't get that twisted. Don't get the game fucked up now. Okay? Like, you be amazed at a plot twist this person is about to hit on your ass. Because this person coming with a plot twist, y'all. I'm telling you, these plot twists been coming out all week. This is about to be a magical week for y'all. So strap your boots up and get ready. Because y'all y'all probably was feeling like, oh, this person this, this person that. Y'all don't even know what spirit got going on. That's why spirit keep letting y'all believe, yeah, you about to be in a cycle. Uh-huh, you about to be in a cycle, all right? Because that's what y'all keep believing. You keep believing in that way. 
and you're not really seeing the reciprocal energy that you've been giving out to this person and they're about to give back to you. That's what I said. If you've been planting seeds and like watering this person and helping them change, helping them grow, helping them evolve, helping them become the best version of themselves, so you're about to experience that. Like y'all don't understand what's going on here. Now, if you was toxic, and you was giving out toxicity to this person, you're going to get toxicity back. This person, why would spirit give you somebody brand new and you toxic? Just make it make sense. You ain't did nothing. They're not a healing. You just keep complaining. You just keep whining. You just keep saying you want this, you want this, you want this, you want that. And you ain't did nothing. They're not a healing. They're not a lick because you ain't seeing shit differently. You still seeing shit the same. So, yeah, if I was spirit, I would let your ass stay on a repetitive cycle until you understand why this person is coming back into your life. And for some of you, it's because this person changed because you changed. You done the healing. So you're about to experience that with this person. Someone brand new. Someone that actually let go and released would no longer serve them just as well as you did. Like, do y'all understand where I'm coming from? So congratulations for whoever this for. I'm happy for y'all. Like, y'all understand, like, Shit, let me know when the wedding is. Fuck that shit. I'll be the first thing smoking on the plane to come see that shit, okay? Get y'all shit together and all that. Because, yeah. This is beautiful. I don't know what else to say. I just had to get on y'all ass for a second because spirit on y'all ass. Like, start listening more to spirit, okay? Like, yeah, I know sometimes we wake up and you uh go the first thing you go to is your phone and you start listening to message even, even i do that but i still use my discernment i still listen to my spirit guides when i listen to these messages because i already know what's going on my guys been showing me this for the longest of my person in my dreams all that way way back in the gap i'm telling you show me everything bruh and the more that I healed and put my attention onto myself and focus is why this person is coming in. Because that's all you got to do. You got to put more time and attention into yourself than more time and attention into the drama and what doesn't matter. Because that's what these karmics get paid off of. When they are karmic readers, they get paid off drama for your mama. I'm telling you. Like, that's how they get paid. They keep the cycle going. As long as you in distress, you ain't happy, you sad, miserable, and bitter just like they ass. Try to figure out how to get some ding ling or some coochie or however they want to call it. That's how you're going to be. Because only spirit, God, and your ancestors know what you need. Okay? Y'all want something so bad, but y'all not willing to actually heal for it so bad. So if you want something as bad as you say you do, do the fucking work. It's just that simple. I don't know what else to say, y'all. I think I summed it up for y'all. Okay? And everybody that try to keep you on a karmic wheel or a karmic cycle to not understand why you go through these karmic cycles, they're going to get karma. It's just that simple. Because the energy got to go somewhere. Somebody got to transmute the energy. And the damn sure ain't going to be me because I give out positive energy, even when I get negative energy. But I know who I am, so I still continue to give out positive energy. Because I want everybody to grow. I want everybody to heal. I want everybody to evolve. I want everybody to change. If I could do it, you could do it. Okay? I know they say your environment, like your environment changes once you change, bruh. Like you don't get, oh, the fancy, dancy, luxury shit because you still want to be a bitter Betty or 